the uh, incredibly observant among you may recognize that uh, this is the sound quality is going to change in a minute, uh, and I don't really know why. Uh, but anyways, welcome to Clapper Creations. I am Andrew, and this is uh, Snowman Mason Jar. Um, uh, this is actually pre-recorded because for some reason the uh, sound was cut. Uh, anyways, oh, we're going to be using a small plastic mason jar. Uh, the glass ones were really expensive, so I got the um, plastic. Uh, red pom-poms, you see some felt. I got some colored pipe cleaners, uh, black buttons, uh, and some orange dry model clay. Uh, which, uh, again, is uh, not that expensive. And you get a ton of it. it. You really do just get a whole a whole bucket of that stuff. And it's a good stuff. It's good material. Um, which, uh, you know, it's, it's always always good to have. Uh, uh, and the reason I used the plastic jars was just because they're, we were going to be the uh, original recipe calls for tea lights. I did not use tea lights. We're using going to be using an electric tea light because I did not want to start drilling holes in these flimsy lids. So, so I went with the electric. Uh, yeah, I did not want to drill any holes in these lids because uh, busting out the drill just for that seems seems excessive, um, even at this point. Oh, and there's the electric uh, tea light. Uh, you also need Mod Podge, uh, scissors, that kind of thing. Uh, Alright, uh, when your felt, uh, when you get your felt, first thing you want to do is really measure out. Oh, there's the Mod Podge. Watch me struggle. To get this Mod Podge open. Oh god. I forget what I did to get it open. There we are. This whole part out. This whole part's just getting cut out, all of it. <laughs> all right, back with my scissors. Seal up your Mod Podge, give it a good shake. You want to make sure you get the adhesive to mix nicely, otherwise the um, like it won't be very sticky. I honestly I had some trouble with it later on in the video, so I don't think I mixed it enough, honestly, to get the uh, solution that I wanted to get it, you know, as, as sticky as I wanted. I, Right, and on your felt, just use your sharpie and uh, measure out the, uh, the, the the length of your mason jar. And you got plenty of felt, so don't don't be afraid of making a mistake. Don't be afraid of you know doing something in error, because uh, there are no mistakes uh, when you're doing stuff like this. When you're doing something creative, when you're doing something like this, there's no wrong way to do it. I do do it wrong in this video. I mess up. I mess up a bunch. I tip I hit my fingers a lot with hot glue. I mess this up. I have to cut this twice. Um, so yeah. There's, there's no wrong answers. There's never any wrong answers for this kind of stuff. I don't remember what I was talking about here. Oh, I was talking about the flammability um, of the the plastic jars. <laughs> Hit the uh, yeah, so you don't want to use um, 
If you're using plastic jars like I am, you do not want to use uh, actual tea lights. You want to get the big, tall glass mason jars uh, with the vented lids so that the uh, heat can escape. And you also don't want to do like the overarch like I do uh, towards the end of the video. Cut that out. I'll we'll put this over here real quick. Just on my other table. Alright, well, let's see how well that turned out. See how far I got. I didn't go far enough. See, I messed up immediately. I immediately borked this up. But then again, it doesn't really need to go all the way around. Either. I can piece it, piece it in there. And. Alright, I got plenty of this felt. I can use this piece of felt for something else later. And that's one thing you should always do as uh, anyone that does crafts or anything like that. If for some reason you do mess up, whatever. You keep the, don't, th don't throw that mess up away. Keep it. Uh, not only for a... Not only for a reminder to yourself that you did mess up, but also because those are supplies that you could use for something else later on down the road. You know, so like you don't want to throw. Well, I mean, if it is if it is actual trash, throw it away. You know, to just get rid of it. It's not worth it. It's not worth holding on to. But. If it's something like, like that piece of felt that I just cut that was clearly too short, that's a good piece of felt. You know, I could use this for a dozen different things. So I'm going to put that in my little felt box. Yes, I have a box of felt. And I'm going to use that. Now hopefully this piece is long enough. Let's test this out before I start putting my felt away again. All right, now this one's too long. But that's good. Too long means I can cut it down. We're good. So I now I can put this away. Alright, so now what we're going to do is, uh, also you probably notice I've got cardboard down on my desk here. Uh, when you're dealing with glues and adhesives, I see you've also got my glue gun right over here, uh, which is on and it's dripping glue. I put cardboard down on my workspace just because this workspace, you kind of want to keep your workspace clean, you know? You always want to keep your workspace clean. And I went for my duct tape, which I don't know where my duct tape is at the moment, so I'm going to use some scotch tape just to keep these two pieces of cardboard together. I should have duct taped them previously, but whatever. In here so that any hodgepodge or glue or any type of adhesive that does get on this board I've got here won't seep through the crack and in onto the desk. Because if this uh, cardboard gets hodgepodge to this desk, that's a problem. Because this is my desk. Yeah. And again, you want to keep the area that you, you make stuff in clean. It's like if you're a painter and you're, if you're an illustrator, you want to keep your workspace clean uh, for future products, for future projects, more or less. So now we've got our jar and our piece of felt. We've got, we've got to match it up. All right, cool. So again, I literally just have my tape. Let me do it. Here we go. Right, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to take a wee bit of tape. Just a wee bit. We're going to do it like this. Just to hold it in place. Actually, do I need to do that with that Mod Podge? Take care of that. Yeah, Mod Podge will take care of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to just start with the Mod Podge. 
Again, this is a tiny, um, tiny jar. There are considerably larger jars that you could do this with. I'm using a tiny jar because I have a tiny project. That and I have, I got this, this, this one jar will last so many projects. You don't need to get the huge jar unless you're going to be like making stuff all day, every day, which would be lovely. I love doing this kind of stuff. Um, in all honesty. Let's see. Right. Oh, I got it on my finger immediately. See what I mean? In theory, it's, it's, in all honesty, I probably should be wearing latex gloves while doing this, just because when you're dealing with any kind of adhesive, you don't really want to get it on your fingers, or on your clothes, or on your skin at all. Um, but Mod Podge is like virtually harmless. I mean, I wouldn't eat it. I would never advise anyone ever eat uh, Mod Podge just because it's, it's an adhesive. You don't want to be doing that. Alright, so here we go. I'll put this side here. And we'll just roll it around. Till we get to the end. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll tighten that down. Okay, so what we're going to do is give that a few minutes to dry in the corner there. And what we'll do is. It's normally one I would dip my brush in water, but my water thing is full, so I'm going to rinse this off in the sink. Okay, now as that dries, so it's drying nicely too. Uh, put that on top of that so that can dry. We're dealing with mold magic, because what we're doing is we're making a snowman. So what you want with a snowman is you want that, you know, carrot nose, you know? So, we use some mold, mold magic. Alright, let's see here. Mold it and air dry. Okay, how long does it take to air dry? Oh geez, this thing takes forever to air dry. All right, I bought air dry clay just because it was uh, only like, again a couple dollars. The whole idea was this is going to be this is going to be super cheap. So I bought way too much of this stuff. Oh my god! I usually would use something like a like a sculpting purely just because um, yeah, that's a little too big. Uh, purely because I really enjoy sculpting. I like using sculpting. There's a flat bit on the pointed nodes. This is supposed to be a, a, a carrot shape. You know, okay, here we go. Let's squish it in, squish it, squish it, squish. Squish. Okay. So that's what we're looking. That's what we're looking for. That kind of shape. Hang on, fifth. Oh my god. Yeah, this was on sale at Michaels for a couple dollars. Um, I think I literally paid a buck fifty for this pack. I have another pack here, so I've got tons of this dry overnight dry stuff. Um, so, I guess I'll just let that cure for now, and we'll move on.
And one thing to always keep in mind when uh, you're dealing with any clay or anything that sets in the air, which is uh, mostly clay, but there's sometimes other stuff too. When you're done with it, with these with these packages, you have to you have to open up the package to get at the material. There's no resealing this package. You can take some tape and just fold this over and seal it up again, but that's not going to give you a good seal. What you want to do is you want to get one of the, like a Ziploc bag. You half seal it. You squeeze. You half seal it. You squeeze the bag, and then you seal it completely. This will keep your materials fresh. I've got Sculpey I purchased years ago that I've kept fresh by sealing it properly. Which is, you know, how you save money on that front. I may just glue that guy on there regardless. Alright, let's see how well this is done. That's kind of worked. Hmm. I think I've used enough Mod Podge. I put that on real thin, like. Is this part stuck on real good? Alright, well, we may have to re Mod Podge that. That's not a problem. Remember, there's no wrong answers. There are no wrong answers in art. I've already deviated from the uh, recipe that was provided, so... Alright, so we're taking these festive three-color pack uh, pipe cleaners, which are fantastic. I love it when they do stuff like that. Because um, instead of, you know, instead of paying a buck fifty for each color, you get... You pay two bucks and you get a bunch of same colors, which is fantastic. Right, we're gonna twist like that real quick. Because we're going to twist these together to make a twist. Alright, All right, so I made a little Make a little twist of the colors, right? And we get the lid. This is the only part you don't need a hot glue gun for. Alright. Let's leave that there. Come on. Focus for me. Come on. There we go. Alright. All right. So the hot glue gun, remember, a uh, hot glue is semi-dangerous. It's not the most dangerous thing on the planet, but it is uh, comparatively to some of the materials we've been, we've been using up to this point. It is. It is super dangerous. That's what you want. No. Why you go to sleep, computer? Stop doing that. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to get it arced like this. You want to kind of figure out where you want it. And you take your hot glue gun and you get your data bit on the, on the inside here. Now remember, if you get the hot glue gun on you, the worst thing that's going to happen is it's going to Sting. It's gonna burn. It's gonna hurt. Um, so don't worry too much about getting it on you per se, because it's everyone. Oh, I dropped it. Everyone burns themselves with a hot glue gun. Don't don't think that like oh my god, I failed as a as a creator because I burned myself with a hot glue gun. No, that is not the case. People who use hot glue guns professionally burn themselves with hot glue guns. So don't, don't fret if you think you're... Here we go. Shape it up nicely. Don't fret if you think you're... Uh, I See, I did it. I just did it twice. 
<laughs> okay. I'm gonna give that a minute. I'll give that a minute. And while that's having its minute to cure, it's off to the side real quick. I'll pop over here. We're gonna open our red pom poms. Which again, this is this bag was like a dollar. So like I've got so many red pom poms. I'm no, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this huge ass bag of red pom poms. But I'm gonna do something with them. Because now I've got this huge ass bag of red pom poms. Which again. Again, I've got all this material for like 30 bucks. It's not bad. I mean, I can make five or six of these things. Alright, so we've got these pom poms. They're not terribly large. I would like to get larger, but, you know, that's. They didn't have larger ones, and I wasn't gonna dilly dally. Uh, besides, I got smaller jars, so having smaller pom poms works out. My cat wants to go outside. So this is probably cured by now, which it has. So I want to take the scissors and just snap those right off. Oh, oh you see here? See that little white spot? That's the hot glue gun. Or the hot glue dried on my skin. It's already flecking off. So it's not even... It's not even... Oh, there's the other spack right there. That shiny bit. So it's not the end of the world. You hit yourself with, with the hot glue gun. So we're going to basically take these palms. And we're going to put them here at the end. Alright? See what we're doing? It's going to be good. Alright, so we're going to hot glue this up. We're gonna take this palm and we're gonna press it. Press it right in there. Yeah, that looks good. This looks real good. Alright, take this palm, we're gonna press it right up in there. Our hot glue only takes a couple seconds to set. So this is already done. Like you can you can tug on this, it ain't gonna come off. And now that we've done that, we can come back to this, see how this went. See so Mod Podge held for the most part, but it's gonna need some touch-ups, which was expected. Safety cap came off. <laughs> Alright. Whatever. Alright, so a little dab will do you on this kind of thing when you're getting in there. Or trying to get into a spot to re adhere something. I want to lay it on a little thicker than you did the first time. At least I did the first time. To really make sure that it sticks. I want to get it in here too on the bottom bit so that I can fold the uh, felt down onto the bottom. Just so it looks a little ne neater, you know? Alright. So, with that done up like that, I can squeeze it in like that. Again, this is one of those things where, like, it'll it'll stick in just a few seconds, but it's going to take a few minutes to dry, so. Actually, I might have to use hot glue for the bottom here, but whatever. Your rubber band would be lovely right now. I don't have a rubber band though, so. Okay. 
that, so. Okay, so let that sit. We're gonna seal this up again. Rinse this off. Alright, the one thing you always want to do is you always want to keep your tools clean or dry. If they're supposed to be clean or dry. But you want them to always be in a state in which you can use them. Because if they're not, then when you go to use them, you won't be able to. See, that's, that's, see that bottom part? That plan didn't work. So I'm thinking when that's all said and done, I may just take my razor and just cut the bottom part off of this. Again, there's no wrong answers here. I might take a little bead of hot glue and just run it down the edge here, or maybe even run hot glue along the bottom. Because that's the thing is that using uh, using a uh, inst using instructions uh, when it comes to crafts and making things is almost it's almost pointless because at a certain point something like this is going to happen where the thing didn't quite work. Whether it was because the material was slightly different, or the jaw was slightly different, or just the it's too hot in here, or it's too cold in here, or the, a million different reasons, uh, something's going to change. You know, like I've add, I've added this 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 coloring here was this was just supposed to be a single red pipe uh, pipe cleaner, and I thought that was boring, so I wanted something different, and I'm even thinking about doing like. Um, this is going to scroll on like this. I'm going to think about doing pipe cleaner around the top here, um, just to give it that extra flare of color, which I might do because I like that idea now that I said it on that. But I have to fix this problem first before I move on to that problem. So that's going to dry for a minute. Well, that's drying for a minute. We're going to drink some coffee. This is not a real bad habit that a lot of artists and other makers have, is you never want to have. My, my festive coffee mug, but you never want to have your drinks or food in your workstation. Uh, especially if you're a painter, because I ran into this a lot while I was doing painting. Because, um, I don't know if you noticed, but my coffee here is about the same color as water that's had paint swirled in it <laughs> multiple times. So if you, because uh, well, they recommend you use old coffee mugs. Or uh, painting things because they they clean real easy. So I had to have an old coffee mug filled with dirty paint water next to my actual coffee. And I can't tell you how many times I dipped my paintbrush in my coffee or went to drink the filthy paint water. So when I'm painting or something, especially when you're painting, oh here's my brick of sculpey. I should just use this, but uh, then my house would smell terrible. Um, but like usually you just want to keep your drink and your foods out of your workstation all the time. This is the Sculpey I was telling you about. Uh, this is oven baked Sculpey. Uh, it's super easy to use. It hardens in what, like 20 minutes? Yeah, 15 minutes. It hardens in 15 minutes. Uh, this stuff is considerably cheaper and this is for children. Uh, so again, uh, this, this craft save for this part is pretty much safe for children. Um, if you want, you can do this with Sculpey. This stuff is perfectly safe for children. It's just um, when you use it, your house is going to smell bad for at least a day. It's going to because this stuff smells bad when you cook it and then it's in your oven and your oven smells bad. So if you're a cooker or, or if you cook a lot or you bake a lot, I would get a, like a tiny toaster oven. I'm saving my pennies to get a toaster oven. Um, just for Sculpey things, because I really, really, really enjoy making things for Sculpey. Alright, let's see how this how well this went. This didn't go well at all. This part worked, but this part is just not playing ball, so we're gonna we're gonna see how this plays out. I don't know how well uh, this plastic is gonna hold up to this hot meter.
it it didn't do nothing. Why did it do nothing? That's way too much. Oh god, I put way too much on here. Okay, let's clean up the plastic. My I think that actually worked out. That don't look too bad either. Alright. What I'm gonna do is just run a bead a bit around the bottom here. Fold that over. To the bead of hot glue gun. Ah, I did it again! Oh! Oh! Oh boy, that's fresh. All right. Okay, so now I recommend you do this with scissors. I'm going to use my little razor here, uh, just because um, I know it's sharp enough. I do this felt. At least I thought it was. All right, I guess I gotta use the scissors. I guess I gotta sharpen my, my knife, <laughs> my little cutter there. All right, so scissor time. All right, there we go. We got our little dude all wrapped up. Oh. That looks that looks fantastic. Let's put this on. See how that looks. That looks fantastic. Look at that. It's going to look so cool when we're done here. Again, this little tiny piece of felt. I could use that as a brush wash or something. So I'm going to put that in my little felt pile. Alright, we're going to undo you, boy. Uh, and I think I actually am going to do... I think maybe a green bit around the top here. Like that. That looks good. Yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do that. Cause that looks like he's wearing a hat, you know? So okay, so we're gonna hot glue there. Just for the end bit. I did it I did it again. Ow! So we're gonna wrap around the top here. Oh, the hot glue came off. Alright, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use the scissor tips to do this then. So if the hot glue wants to fight me, then. Other really cool thing about hot glue specifically, and hot mod podge, uh, is that they do dry clear. So. Don't worry about that. All right, so I got my little rim. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks so good. I love it. Okay, there we go. I don't know if I'm gonna save these bits. I'll put them over my save file for All right, and now we need our buttons. Where are my buttons? Here are my buttons. Now, a lot of times, people have buttons laying around. Um, I didn't, so I had to go get some buttons. Once again, uh, nothing here is terribly expensive. I literally think I paid 80 cents for this little sack of uh, buttons. Now, what you can do is you can go find two identical size buttons or two different size buttons. And I'll give him kind of like... Oh, face. Uh, but I think I'm going to go with two identical size buttons. Uh, I'm going to get a little baggy for these excess buttons. Alright, 
Alright. You can never have too much of like stuff like buttons and whatnot. Because you never know when you come across a project that requires like 800 buttons or, you know, something similar. Or if you're going to make a lot of something and you only have like a tiny bit of the material you need, you can always. You know, hold on to stuff. Hold on to stuff like this. This is the kind of stuff that doesn't take up a whole lot of space, and you can reuse these for other things. On top of mending your own clothes, you can use them for crafts later on as well. So we're gonna toss that. Alright, so we got two buttons and a nose. See, all this stuff is coming together real nice, like. So now we have to determine where the face is. So we're going to screw the, the head on, or the hat on. Right, so we're going to kind of put them like right there. Now the Sharpie is every crafter's best friend. So we're going to put an eye there. How big is that eye? That's good. So we want the other eye about here, let's say. And we want to know how big is the nose. We put the nose. Yeah, I'll put the nose right about here. Alright, so that's good. Put that sharpie away. Alright, uh, like I said, sharpie is any crafter's best friend. It can write on pretty much anything. I literally buy these by the dozen when I do buy them. Because they keep forever. Again, if you put if you put your excess in a plastic baggie and you put them somewhere uh, warm, uh, and dry these things never run out of here. And I just made little marks where we're going to put our, our uh, face bits. Again, you want to get your glue gun. I got my buttons prepped. And a little a little dab will do you. And you want to do these one eye at a time because the glue gun, the hot glue, is going to dry incredibly quick. So I just want to get that eye fixed. You just hold it there for a second or two. There we go. All right. See, see, it already looks already looks good. We'll just dip another one over here. Maybe a little less glue this time. We're gonna put the button there. Hold it there for a second or two. All right. See. See what we're doing here? We have to force the focus again. But you see what we're doing here? See? That looks great. I'm gonna put a little dab of glue there. Uh, I know this hasn't dried yet, but it'll it'll dry on the. There we go. Look at that. Look at that adorable shit. That's fantastic. I love it. I actually do love this. This, this is fantastic. Head. All right, uh, and the, what I'm going to do is I got one of these um, LEDs, you know, because uh, it's supposed to be like a candle thing, I guess. So it got a little electric um, LED uh, tea light. Which flickers. Oh, I didn't know it flickered. Oh, I love this. Because uh, the original recipe uh, called for to put an actual tea light in there. I was like, I'm, I'm buying plastic jars. I'm not, I'm not putting a candle in these things. So I'm going to put this LED in here. And we're going to close this bad boy up. I don't know if you can see that. He's 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 flickering away. God, that looks so good. I love it. Let me see if I can make it a little darker in here. Yeah, you can see that a little bit better now. That's flickering. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, look at that. That's really cool. Again, like I, I can't stress enough that this is that the crafts like this are super easy to do. You can do them with, with friends. You can do them with family members. You can do them with children. Um, and because it's not an actual flame, I can just pull the candle out at will. But this thing was really cool. This was possibly. I think this this little LED was two bucks. I was gonna get like a whole bunch of these, but these little LEDs are like there's a. I think there was a six pack was twenty bucks for these things, or, was, or something crazy like that. And I was like, no, nah, I'm just gonna get the one to see how it works. And this is, this is fantastic. This is lovely. I I I don't think this could, this could have not have gone any better. I love it. Wow. All right. Well, this is uh. I'm gonna make a bunch of these because I think this is these are adorable. This is uh, Clapper Creations. Uh, that was a snowman. I don't know what to call this. Decorative snowman jar. You can hang it in a tree. Like this is this is so much. This is so fun. I love I love this kind of stuff. See the little light coming through the rim there. I actually really enjoy this. Oh, that looks so good. I love it. I really do. I love it. Anyways, uh, I'm I'm Andrew. This has been Clapper Creations. Uh, I made something today, uh, and I'm going to continue making things. Cause I love I love jar. I love jar stuff. I love making stuff with jars. Um, just because I think jars are so. So so neat. I just love it. I just love jars. <laughs> Anyways, um, please pl please uh, you know, like, favorite, share. Uh, I'm going to be making stuff on this on Twitch and that kind of stuff because um, I love making stuff. I love experimenting and changing things because this is a my variant on the decorative uh, snowman mason jar. Uh, creative. So yeah, have um, ha have a lovely Christmas. I'm gonna be trying to do Christmas themed stuff uh, uh, during the week. So yeah, um, yeah. So have a, have have a lovely day.